If you're considering counseling either online or offline, one of the things that you should know about is cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBT. My name is Dr. Sonia, and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist with over 10 years of experience working with people with a variety of mental health conditions. I see myself as a strong CBT therapist and think that it has a lot of value for helping people struggling with anxiety, depression, life stressor type issues, and so I really want to help you understand a little bit more about it and how it works today. So what is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, anyway? So what CBT really is, is it's a way, a theoretical approach, where a therapist will work with you to examine your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, and the different ways they intersect. And really what they're going to be looking to do is look at how your thoughts might be contributing to uh, difficult emotions. So are your thoughts uh, helping to sustain a level of anger or sadness or fear? And are there ways that maybe you can think about situations or people or yourself differently in order to feel a little bit better? So if you're considering counseling, I strongly encourage you to look into working with a CBT therapist because it's an effective and evidence-based way of dealing with a variety of problems and issues. If you're working with a CBT therapist, you're going to find that the work is very collaborative and it's really a team approach to examining the issues that you struggle with. The other thing that people have maybe a little bit of trouble getting used to or accepting with CBT therapy is that you will get homework. Yes, it's just like being back in school. And so a good CBT therapist is going to assign you some kind of action item or homework assignment to complete between sessions. And the reason for this is really to help you practice the skills and strategies that you're learning in session, out of session. And you will find that you will progress much more quickly through the therapy process if you do your homework, kind of just like in school. So a few other things to know about cognitive behavioral therapy are that it's uh, typically a more structured approach than other types of therapies. Uh, and it involves identifying goals that you and the counselor agree to work with on together. Um, and the other key point is that in CBT therapy, the counselor really welcomes and solicits feedback on how things are going. So this goes back to the idea that it's a very collaborative approach. And it's not this idea of the counselor having more knowledge than you, but just that the counselor has expertise in different areas that they can bring to bear and maybe give you different ways of thinking about your problems. One of the more common misconceptions about CBT is that CBT therapists will not look uh, at your past at all or examine how your past might be affecting your present. And that's actually not true. In CBT, the focus is definitely more on the present and how you're functioning in the present, but the C a good CBT therapist will work with you on examining if there are any issues in your past that are still affecting your ability to function effectively and successfully today. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find a lot more content on a variety of mental health topics. And if you're interested in learning more about online counseling, please click the link to betterhelp.com below.